He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, that has become the cornerstone. Peter told the people politely but frankly, He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, that has become the cornerstone. <laughs> the scriptures tell us that Peter said this when he was filled with the Holy Spirit. That was after the resurrection of Jesus, after Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit had come upon them. So he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he stood up boldly. The apostles, all of them, they stood up boldly and they were preaching. But Peter took the command button. He went ahead to preach to the people and he told them politely but frankly, he is the stone rejected by you, the builders, that has become the cornerstone. So, dear friends, and that is the response of our psalm for the fourth Sunday of Easter. So, the first reading talks about Peter preaching to the people and telling them that Jesus is the stone that was rejected by them, the builders, the leaders, the chief priests. The high priest that has become the cornerstone. He is risen now, he's alive, he is the cornerstone. So Jesus is the rock. So, my dear friends, the question now is: have we claimed Jesus as our cornerstone? That stone that was rejected because of us. Have we claimed him as our cornerstone? That should be our mission now, dear friends, to testify Jesus, to bear witness to Jesus, to claim him our cornerstone, and to tell others that he is the stone that was rejected by the builder that has become the cornerstone. So the response to the psalm is actually the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone, just as Peter is pointing to that stone that was rejected by the builders. That stone is Jesus, Jesus the rock, Jesus our rock, Jesus the rock on which we stand, Jesus the rock on which we stand. That is him that Peter is pointing to as the stone rejected by you, the builders, that, have, that has become the cornerstone. So that should be our mission, dear friends, as we sing this response to the psalm of the fourth Sunday of Easter. That should be our mission, to claim Jesus as our cornerstone. That cornerstone that will never fail us. That cornerstone that will strengthen us. That cornerstone that will lead us. That cornerstone that will empower us as he empowered the apostles. To go out there and also tell others. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. That should be our preaching, our testimony. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. So let us sing. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Stop. 
on which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been known. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my savior. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His kindness endures forever. Oh dear friends, let us claim Jesus as our cornerstone, as the rock on which we stand, that rock that will never fail us, that rock that holds us and keeps us firm, that rock that will see us through many things happening in our lives. So dear friends, have you subscribed? I would like us to always journey together, you know, so do well to subscribe. Don't go today without subscribing. Our next psalm will be that of the fifth Sunday of Easter. So do well to share, share and invite your friends so that together we move on with journey, enjoying our Lord, enjoying life in Christ. So see you in the next video. Thank you.